There it is. Got him. I just got hit. I just got hit. Oh, it's a nice fish. Woo! You startled me. There he is. Hey, y'all. Welcome to another episode of Salty Bottom Outdoors. If you haven't already, please remember to hit that like and subscribe button down below and stick around after the video for this week's tackle tip. All right, ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to another episode of Salty Bottom Outdoors. Just pulling up to the first fishing stop here. Got my black and orange belly uh, Miradine tied on. I'm working up to these rocks over here and then going out towards the point out in that area, there's a nice big grass flat. And I'm actually seeing some dolphins work or porpoises work off that point over here, which is a good sign. Um, I mean, they can be bait stealers for sure, but if they're in the area, there's a reason they're here. So let's see if we can find out why. I'm on my second drift. First drift was nothing. If I don't get anything on this drift, then we out of here. All right, location number two. No bites at location number one. Third cast along these pilings. This feels like a decent fish too. Oh, it's a trout. He, I didn't even have a chance to jig it. Oh, he's not as big as I thought. He might keep though. I didn't have a chance to jig it. He hit it on the way down. Oh yeah, he's definitely a keeper. He hit it. I mean, I was waiting for it to sink. I didn't even feel bottom yet. There we go. Nice little speckled trout. I'm gonna say 12 and a half. No, oh, he's a full 13. Look at you showing off, boy. All right. Quarter ounce death grip jig head. And that is the opening night color mad mullet from Captain Lane's Ghost Minnows, which same people to make this jig head. He was right there. Once again, the wind has seriously messed me up. It's supposed to be five to 10, picking up to 15 or so a little bit later in the day. And it kicked up big time. It just dirtied the water up. So I made a long run, probably a 20 minute run to get where I'm at here. And I just saw something blow up on some bait right here in this bayou. I don't know what it was. Hopefully, I'm about to find out what it was. All right, snot grass is good though. I don't know what this grass is called, the technical term for it, but bass, redfish, and even speckled trout are known to hang out around it, that's for sure. It's too thick, I might have to switch to, there it is. Yeah, that's a fish, that's a fish, that's a, that's a speckled trout. Oh, he came off too. All right. Golly. I was just complaining. I didn't think I was going to be able to find any speckled trout, hook one, and then miss him. Ugh. All right, all right, all right, all right, all right. Come on, Kevin. Head in the game, head in the game. We got this. There's fish here, and they're eating. Let's make lemonade. I got either the littlest dinker. Or he just ran straight at the boat. Oh, it's a bass. Oh, he came off. That's all right. There's a big duck pond back here, but it drains through right here and right there. And you can see the water rolling there, there, around this bend behind me that I just fished through. And I had a nice bass hit it. Didn't get a decent hook set on him. And he threw it right next to the boat. So I'm seeing tons of little glass minnows and I've got fish blowing up on them everywhere, but they won't hit what I'm throwing. This is actually a crappie lure and I got it on a little eighth ounce jig head. I threw it out twice. Second time I had a hit right here, but he did not hold on to it at all. Got him. Finally, I'm gonna find out that might be it. That's a speckled trout right there. Look at that. Keeper too. A 13 incher. On the Bobby Garland crappie lure. Look at that. Oh, oh, oh. This one just got smoked. There he is. And that one's getting hit. See if I can set the hook on both of them. Yep, I got both of them. Oh God, what do I do? <laughs> Let's hope that one stays on. I don't know, it looks like you dropped it. Please don't be a catfish. Please don't be a catfish. It's a catfish, crap. Yep, we about to move. That can't be. That's gotta be bottom. That's bottom. Crap. Yep. Yeah. 
Oh, it just came off the bottom. Is that a fish that got... Not really fighting. It is a fish, it's another cat, yep. Itty bitty cats, we about to move. Tying on a little bit heavier jig head because this is deeper water with strong current. Just tossed out a dead shrimp on the bottom while I was tying it. And in the middle of tying it, I was rudely interrupted by a speckle trout. On oh, dead shrimp? You gotta be kidding me. Okay, okay. And it's a decent one too. That's a solid little fish. I can't believe that was a speckled trout. Speckled trout don't really hit dead shrimp. I mean, I'm pretty surprised actually. That rod's getting played with again. I have to finish this knot before, before it gets picked up. I just got hit. I just got hit. Oh, it's a nice fish. It's a nice fish. That might be, that's either a catfish, a red, or a black drum. That ain't no speckled trout. If it's a speckled trout, he's a monster. I'm recording. Oh, yes, I am. Thank God. <laughs> Man, get the net out. This is a hoss. That's a nice one. Oh, and I'm fighting in current, too. Be a nice red fish or a black drum. That'd be fine with me. Perfectly fine with me. Where you at? Where you at? Don't go back there. I got a line in the water back there. No, 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 no. I said don't. I don't have to drag too tight. If this is a trout, it's a monster. It's not fighting like a trout, though. He's staying down. Come on, we're about to get a glimpse of him right here. Oh, no. Oh. You heard me talking. Where's he at? Where you at, big boy? Where you at, my boy? Oh, that's a red. Solid redfish, too. Oh, he's nice. Oh, oh, he ain't done yet. He is not done yet. Boys, I found me a little bit. Of a honey hole, it looks like. Uh-uh. Come see you. Come see you, boy. There we go. Oh, I need a bigger net. <laughs> I need a bigger net. Let's get you unhooked. Nice, beautiful 23-inch redfish. Three spots. Nice fish. I think I'm gonna put this one back though. Live to fight another day, buddy. I thought about keeping him. I love redfish. I'm on a speckled trout mission today though. Only problem with working multiple rods are you're the only one in the boat, man. It's, it's like a Chinese fire drill with rods. It's fun though. And it is a good way to catch fish. You can target multiple species at the same time. The water is gorgeous back in here. I mean, it's just beautiful. Look, I don't know how well y'all can see that, but I mean, that lure is three feet down and I can still see it. Had a little bit of lull in the action, so. Oh, that might be another red. I need to get this line in. That's not good. Oh, whatever it is, it's solid. That's a big fish. Oh, that's a big fish. I need to get this line in. And quick. Come on, come on. That's a big fish. That's a big fish. Whatever it is, it's not small. It's either a big catfish or a big drum. Oh yeah, oh yeah, that's what I'm talking about. That's a bigger fish. Oh. Yeah, that's gotta be a drum or a redfish. I ain't no catfish fight like that. Catfish just sort of feel like dead weight. Come on. This is gonna be the one, boy. This is gonna be the nice one. This is gonna cap off the day. I only got like an hour or so left to fish. Okay, come on. Come on. Come on. And I'm fighting against current, so I'm sure it feels a little bigger than he actually is, but still, make a couple of screaming runs like that on a 4,000 pin. I mean, I don't have the drag exactly tight because it, it was in the rod holder, but still. It's still a nice fish. I can feel his tail beats. It's, it's a solid fish. This is a... <laughs> I 
think it's a black drum. I just caught a little bitty glimpse of him over there. I ain't caught a black drum in so long. It is a black drum. It's a puppy drum. He's not even that big. I just, I guess I had to drag looser than I thought I did. One of the target species for today. I wanted sheep's head. I wanted redfish. I mean, I wanted sheep's head. I wanted speckled trout. And I wanted a couple of these guys. These are fantastic eating. God, he's thick too. He's heavy. Now, these guys get way bigger, north of 40 pounds easily. Um, we call these puppy drums. And if you still, you see these little lines sort of look like a sheep head, that's a juvenile. Fantastic eating. If you get one that doesn't have the lines in it, this one's already starting to fade. They get a lot more black and vivid when they're smaller. But they are fantastic eating. They taste very similar to redfish. And I'm actually gonna take this one home because I haven't had a black drum in quite a while. Let's get a measure on them right quick. God, I hope y'all saw that. I had the camera pointing down. I have to be 16 inches in Louisiana, just like redfish. And he is 18. All right. You hear him thumping? Come on, thump again. You hear him? <laughs> That's why they call him drum. Let's do that again. Or not. Thumbs up if you hate bird nests. I'm not talking about the kind of birds nesting. I mean, that kind of bird nest. I want y'all to think I'm just randomly hating on birds for no obvious reason. What the hell? Where my line go? Oh, something picked it up and ran straight at the boat with it. There we go. So I was jigging this, and for a second I thought it broke off because, I mean, it just went slack. So I started reeling up, thinking, oh, great. Oh, and I'm, I'm on on that ride too. I'm on on that ride too. Oh my God. I gotta loosen the drag. He's on, he, he's on for sure. He's just gonna have to stay there. No, 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 not the motor. Not the motor, not the motor. Oh, it's a, geez, look at the size of that freshwater cat. Seriously, why'd I have to catch this on my little rod? Big, oh, huge slimy freshwater cat and he had an artificial my other rod is going off but i can't put this rod down i cannot put this rod down no 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 God. oh He was on for that long and came off when I finally picked the rod up. Are you kidding me? There's another catfish though, look. See slime on the line? Big old, huge freshwater cat. All right, boys and girls. Made a quick move. That's five, seven minute run out here. Um, this is a bayou I've never fished before. I've scouted it on Google Maps several times but i've never actually been to this spot looks pretty good so far water clarity could, could be better but it's really not bad considering how windy it was earlier today there's a little mud flat with a hard grass line and then over here you got a nice little grass line on the outside of this bend as well as y'all don't know elevating yourself on something gives you a much better angle into the water it makes it easier to see fish look at them there's two right over there I hear a couple of more calling back. Look at them. That's awesome. You hear them splashing around back there? It's a whole little family of otters in this bayou. That's awesome. Sounds like they're fighting. Come on, guys. Show, show yourself. I want to see you. Oh, yep. They're fighting. You seen them? You seen them just jump off the bank? They're throwing down. Otter fight. Otter fight. Otter fight. Oh, they're they getting after it, boy. Look at them. They tearing it up. Them, them dudes don't even know I'm here. Look, there goes three more of them. That's cool. I've never seen an otter fight up close. Woo! You startled me, dude. <laughs> y'all are scaring my fish away, boys. Come on now. Can't y'all just stay up there and fight? Whoa, look at him. He's right there. They're all around me. Oh, this is cool. Look at him. Oh, my God. <laughs> Almost fell off the dang cooler. Look at him right over there in the water. You can see him. They're chasing mullet and stuff. They're all over the place. They're all around me. 
this is this is one of the coolest things I've ever seen in the marsh. I don't even care that I'm not catching. Look, there's another one right there. They are all over the place. This is awesome, man. Look at them. There's got to be. It's hard to count. They move so daggum fast. Hey, little guy. What's up, big guy? We're getting chasing fish right there. Oh, two of them. There's another one. That's three. There's two back there. That's five. Y'all huffing and puffing at me for? I ain't gonna bother you. I ain't gonna bother you, I promise. They're so cute. What's up, guy? What's up, guy? Dog, you're so cool. You're so cool, y'all are awesome. That made my day. If I wouldn't have caught a single fish today, that still made this trip worth it. They still fighting back there. I love it out here. Let's see if we can't find some fish. We found some wildlife. It's not the target species though. See, that's the other type of grass I was talking about this morning. I can't remember what this is called. If you remember what that grass is called, comment down below, please. I can't remember. But that's the other predominant type of grass. Itty bitty dinker trout hit it while I was retrieving it back to the boat. It's a good sign though, that's a good sign. Let's uh, slow down. And, and then I got another hit, I got another hit. There he is, there he is. That's a nice, oh, that's a nice trout. That's a nice, oh no, you can't be kidding me. That was a nice one. <sighs> I'm gonna cry, I'm gonna cry. That was a nice trout. It was two consecutive casts, two consecutive target species. I caught the dinker. <laughs> I lost the chunky trout. <laughs> you gotta be kidding me. Oh, one just swiped at it. One just swiped at it while I was reeling. All right, let's try something. They want it straight retrieved. They, they're hitting it on a straight retrieve. They don't want it slow rolled. It's got hit again. They want it straight retrieved, but I think it's the little guys. Straight retrieved. You can't man, you hit it two or three times. That's a decent, that's a decent fish. What is he though? It's a trout. Nice one. Nice one. Oh no, he ain't that big. I'm gonna say 14. 14. Oh, oh, oh your boy good. Your boy good. Ah, he's not that good. So I was going through here just jigging the bait. I wasn't working it fast at all. I just wasn't getting much. And I caught that one little dinker trout and I missed that nice one. There he is. He didn't even, he didn't even I think he spit it. Oh, he's still on it. He just run at the boat. Okay, okay, okay. He got an opinion. Oh, I snagged a little trout. I caught him in the side. Oh, poor little dinker trout. He's not even a keeper. I'm so sorry, buddy. I am so sorry. I'm so sorry. Stop, stop. I don't want to get hooked too. I will. Oh, that's probably going to kill him, but I can't keep him. He's not legal. I'm so sorry. I feel bad. Can't believe they want it straight retrieved. It's, it's for this time of year. Well, I guess the water is kind of warm. So I literally just pulled up the marsh anchor. Wouldn't you know it? A dinker hit me. This is the type of stuff if redfish love. I haven't caught any back here yet, which is actually kind of surprising considering the conditions. I saw a few stingrays back on this grass flat, but it's very shallow. It'd have to be a super high tide for me to get in there. Stingrays and redfish like to run together. If you pull into a duck pond looking for redfish and you see stingrays, don't leave. I'm not gonna push too much further back in this bayou. I'm gonna work those bends that I was just messing with on the way out. We got moving water, we got clean water, we got structure and cover and presence of bait. Add this one to the list of places I like to fish. Hey guys, thanks for sticking around for this video. This week's tackle tip, I'm going to keep it short and sweet because this video was longer than I was planning on. I hope you enjoyed the wildlife and the fishing. This week's tackle tip is sort of going to piggyback off of last week's tackle tip when I was talking about changing what you're doing if what you're doing is not working. I had to move around a lot. Uh, I didn't hit that many spots because I found success in most of the spots I went to, but the success was short-lived. I would catch a couple here 
and then the bite would shut down. And then I'd move over there and then the bite would shut down. The key was finding moving water. Uh, the tide took forever to change. It was supposed to change at noon, a little before noon. It didn't really start changing until 1.30. Everywhere I went, I would fish until the tide stopped moving. Once the tide stops moving, you have to find bottlenecks. You have to find areas that concentrate the water. Like I talked about last week, one of the key ingredients is moving water. If you don't have moving water, it's gonna be hard to find fish. I had to bounce around a lot. I would fish until the tide stopped moving. When the tide stopped moving in that area, I would stop getting bites. At the beginning of the video, I was in a wide open area and I only caught one fish though. Then I moved into a smaller bayou where water was falling out of it at the back end of a falling tide and caught a few fish there and then the tide stopped moving. So then I moved to a big bayou that drains from one lake into another lake where there's always moving water. Once the tide shut down there, it started to turn to an incoming tide and that's when I moved back into the marsh in the smaller bayous where the water was rushing in and hitting these turns and that's where I was catching these trout in the smaller bayou was in a turn where water was pushing bait up against the bank. So before I left to go fishing, I had already planned 10 spots that I wanted to fish. If I hit every single spot I wanted to fish that day, it's because the fishing was tough and I had to move around a lot. Of the 10 spots I had picked out, I hit five. I only hit 50% of the spots that I had planned, but I'd rather have too many spots to hit than not enough spots to hit. I don't wanna be stuck in the middle of my fishing day going, where do I need to go next? I have plenty of places I want to go that hopefully I don't need to because I find fish feeding in some of the areas that I had planned on ahead of time. I found this bayou at the end of the video where I didn't catch a lot. I caught two keeper trout. I missed a redfish, I missed a nice trout, but I found a new area that has fish, that has the type of stuff I'm looking for that I know I can go back to and catch fish in the future. If you're sticking around this long, then you're just like me and you really love the outdoors, you really love fishing. I hope you enjoyed this video. Please remember to like and subscribe and stay tuned for the next episode of Salty Bottom Outdoors. Cheers.